Hi, I'm Nick Bonner from TreeStuff.com. We've got Blair Williams from Adelwood. Blair, thanks for joining us. Yep, you bet. We're looking at a new bag or transport system from Adelwood. And before we even dive into this, one of the things that I just want to talk about is that the finished quality really stands out. Little tiny things like the seams, the way that you see elastic put in here, all the finishing in the trim. These bags are just really premium. The handles, really, I think no detail is missed with these. Mm -hmm. You can feel the European DNA in it. Absolutely, yeah. So this is the 55 liter cask. Right. We're gonna get into why that, where that name comes from here in a minute, but this is a pretty simple, kind of tall bucket style bag. It's got nice thin sides, and it does have a standard kind of drawstring apron, but I love the color. I like that it's simple. I'm a big fan of bucket bags. Yeah. Um, let's dive into the rest of the system. Yeah, so that's a, it's a 55 liter. The unique thing about this system uh, a lot of forethought has gone into the multiple products that make it up. So as an example, we have a system here. This bag is meant to fit this. This is our new Houston. We'll get into that. I'm minute. really, I'm really excited about yep, the Houston. Houston is awesome. We're getting that on the um, website soon. Our command center. So this is our, our nine liter tool bag. Um, and then inside of the 55 liter cask, we have the 28 liter cask. So right now I have um, our 150 foot uh, woodpecker in here, 11.7 uh, great rope, 24 There's strand. A lot of, a yep, lot of room still left. a lot of room left in there. Um, so the idea, right, you're at the job site, got your rope stored. End of the day, you just put everything inside of this system, um, kind of like uh, like the Russian dolls, right? Everything yeah. just kind of fits Absolutely. inside. Absolutely, it all nests. And then there's yep. still room for harness, helmet, those other things. Yep. And then your throw bag, which is what the Houston is, um, the carrying system just fits right, right inside. In the, right in the park. Yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into uh, the Houston. So this is our new, um, or I should say is, the this thing is so cool. industry's new command center. Um, so like Nick said, very well made, um, really high-end stitching patterns and, and yarns that are being used. So it just opens up, kind of wants to collapse on itself. So we have a little magnetic system in here. So there's magnets in the corners here. It kind of makes it all just click together. So you just kind of bring those in, little tab here, slide that in between, and now you've got a Double foldable throw line. two cube throw line system. So each one inside has two different zones. So you can have four different throw bags in here. We have a 10 ounce and a 12 ounce, 12 ounce on this side. This is our new throw bag called the Apollo. Um, so 10 and 12 ounce. And then we have our hotline in here, which is a Dyneema with a plastic filament on the inside. So you can have two different throw lines, four different bags, yeah. ready to go. Um, I really love it. You know, you get one line stuck, you want to set a second line, you're doing double right. bagging. There's so many reasons. I think everybody carries two throw lines. Mm -hmm. And I love that they're both yeah. accessible, both yeah. deployable. You know, yeah. you, you can leave this one down right and leave it yep. you know totally organized and then when this folds down the lines stay separate really nice and neatly and honestly it's easier than a than a triangle right a standard yeah. cube you kind of feel yeah. like you need like a video to learn how to open or close that sucker you do yeah this just flips yep. back and yep. then it it fits right in here fits right in the front pouch there yep so, oh, real quick look uh, 55 liter yep at the two smaller bags this is the flask mm -hmm. and this is the beaker so that's right flask yep. beaker cast these are all yep. kind of yep. liquid holding items and uh, i like these this is a six liter tool bag uh, we sell a lot of tool bags in this size i like that it has a nice mesh pockets if it gets wet mm -hmm. if it's on your saddle right it's in the rain you're not going to take it off it's going to dry out the next day um, this is a size that's really convenient i think for everyday use in the canopy um, but when you say you're doing like a cabling job or mm -hmm. something where you need some specialized tools up right. in the tree. Exactly, yeah, that's where this this is gonna really excel. So you can hook this up directly to your harness. Also, it has the waist belt on it here. Um, you can see it has plenty of pouches for tools on the outside. The Gosh, really- wait, I can wear this just as a fanny pack? You could absolutely wear this as a fanny pack. Oh boy, um, things the, are heating up. The uh, unique thing about this though is it is reversible. So there are times when you're working at height that having tools on the outside could be kind of a detriment to those people below you. So in that case, you can actually reverse this thing um, where the tool pouches are only on the inside. I love this feature. Um, I have done some other jobs at height where it's much more uh, 
your tool focus, you know, you have wrenches and sockets and things like that. And having all the tool slots on the outside to me, it is a downside. Yeah. And I, I love that yeah. you guys, again, the European DNA is so obvious, right? The elegant solution, the really high quality finishing. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a really well thought out bag line. It's really clear that your team sat down, thought through a lot of the problems, mm -hmm. the reasons and the, the reasons why people are using the gear and how they're using yeah, it. Yeah, and, and the frustrations it. to this lid. One thing we've all experienced, anything that has a lid, the lid gets in the way, so it'll put a little magnetic uh, system here so you can fold this lid down Flip and it back. holds it in place. That's yeah, right. so details, details, details. Yeah. Yep. Edelrid uh, is uh, really growing into the tree scene and uh, we're really happy to be a part of it. Thanks for sharing it with us. Yeah, you bet, Nick. Thanks so much.